Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm gonna to show you how to add a border to a mask in Premiere Pro. Okay, so I have two clips on my timeline here and I want to mask the smaller one and add a border or stroke to it. And we'll also go through how to add both a straight edge and rounded edge border. But the first thing I'll do is add a mask to this video here. So what I'm gonna do is select it in the timeline and then go over to my effect controls. Now, normally what I would do when I'm adding a mask is I would add it using the opacity effect, but I don't wanna do that in this case. I'm gonna go over to my effects panel and I'm gonna do a search for alpha adjust. And then I'll drag that over to my effect controls and then I'll go over to the alpha adjust effect and add a four point polygon mask. I'll just go over here and scale this up a bit. Now here's a quick tip for scaling up your masks. If you just go to the corner of a mask and hold down the shift key, then you can click and drag and that will actually scale it up proportionally. And then I'll move my cursor in the middle of the mask and drag this to reframe it. Now at the moment it's not masking anything and that's because I need to change a couple of values over in the alpha adjust effect. I'll go back over to my effect controls and where it says invert alpha, I'm going to check this. And underneath my mask where it says inverted, I'm going to check this. And now I'm cropping out the sides of the image. I might just scale this up a bit and I can do that with my motion setting. So I'll go over to motion and just turn up the scale and reposition it as well. Oh, and I'll also make sure to set the mask feathering to zero. So I've got my mask looking the way that I want to. And now to add a stroke to this, I want to go back over to my effects panel and I'm going to get the effect paint bucket. And I'll drag this underneath my alpha adjust effect. The default settings for this effect look a little weird, but if I go over to the effect in the effect controls, all I want to do is set the fill selector to alpha channel. And then I'll set the stroke to stroke. And you can see it's now added a stroke to my mask. All I need to do then is just turn up the stroke width to make this a bit thicker. And I can also change the color of the stroke to something else. So that was all pretty easy, but what if you wanted either a rounded edge stroke or a straight edge stroke? Well, if I look at the default setting here, what it's got is a sort of rounded outer stroke and a straight inner stroke. So if I wanted this to be all rounded, this is very easy. All I need to do is go over to my alpha adjust effect and just turn up the mask expansion. But if I wanted straight edges, I'll set that mask expansion back to zero. And what I'm gonna do is select my paint bucket effect and duplicate it. So I'll right click and choose copy and then right click again and choose paste. And now I have two paint bucket effects stacked on top of each other. I'll just rename the second one so I don't get confused. I'll call this straight edges and click okay. And on the straight edges version, what I wanna do is change the stroke from stroke to choke. I wanna set the spread radius to the maximum value, which is 40. And then I wanna change the blending mode for that effect to stencil alpha. Now it looks like I've lost my stroke entirely, but if I go back to that first version of the paint bucket effect and turn the stroke width up, you can see there's my stroke with perfectly straight edges. And there you have it, a quick way to add a border to a mask with both round edges and straight edges. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.